In this section, we're going to discuss the assembly of a step-through riser bow. So at this point, we're going to check the contents and begin the assembly. So at this point, we have our box open and there's a couple of different compartments. So we want to remove that top tray, put that aside, and start doing an inventory of what's in the box. We've taken everything out of the box and we're starting to do our inventory. Right inside the manual is our parts checklist. So you want to go through that checklist, make sure all the parts are in the box, and if they aren't, the phone number to call is right on the page. Call Barnett and we'll make sure we get your parts out to you. So at this point, we're going to begin assembling the bow. But before we do that, this is a Ghost 350, which comes with an included cable slide. We do have bows in the line that have an all aluminum flight track assembly, like this Ghost 410. The Ghost 410 has Teflon tape inside the housing here, which allows the cables to slide without a cable slide. That's because below the flight track, there's a pre-installed Teflon tape that the cables glide on during the draw cycle and shooting cycle. At this point, we're ready to install the cable slide. We want to open the package of both the cable slide and our hardware package and take out our lube wax. We want to make sure we apply lube wax right here in the center where our cables cross because once these are installed, it's hard to get into that area. So now we've got the crossbow cable slide onto the cables, making sure the deeper groove is on the top cable. We're going to keep it off center and slide the cable slide underneath the flight track and then push it back over into position and then press your riser onto your stock. At this point, we're going to remove the bolt and install the bolt on the end of the stock. Inside the parts package, there's a lock washer, which you want to make sure is on the riser bolt. And you want to make sure the riser is seated all the way onto the front of the stock. At this point, we want to screw the bolt down into position, making sure that it's snug, but not to over tighten. If you over tighten, you can strip the screws inside the bolt insert. At this point, the riser is now installed on our stock. At this point, we're going to install our scope. Now for everything else on this crossbow, all the tools, the Allen wrenches are included in the package. The only thing you may need is going to be a screwdriver to lock down your scope once it's in position. We'll open the box. And remove our scope. At this point, We'll loosen the rings on each side at the base. We're going to set our scope on the base, making sure the slots are all lined up, and then just do a quick thumb tighten, but not locking it down yet. At this point, we want to make sure we have about a two inch eye relief to our scope. When you have that in place, tighten some more, and then you can lock it down with a screwdriver. After that, there's another Allen wrench where you can line up your crosshairs left to right to make sure that it's perfectly perpendicular with the string of the bow. At this point, we're ready to install the quiver. Barnett has made it very easy to install because the bracket's already onto the riser. Simply set your center post into position, rotate the quiver in, and it's locked in place. Now all you have to do is install the supplied field tips onto our arrows and it's ready to shoot. So at this point, our crossbow is fully assembled. We can remove the hang tags, but we need to make sure that we understand them as well as our owner's manual before we go out shooting. So as we mentioned earlier, not all Barnett crossbows come with cable slides. This Ghost 410, for instance, has the Teflon tape installed underneath the flight track. In this instance, we just need to take a little bit of lube wax, place it on the center part of your cable, right where they cross, get it on both sides, and we can start assembling the riser onto the stock of the bow. It doesn't matter which side your cables cross, whether it's on the left or the right, so don't worry about that. Make sure the cables slide underneath, pick the riser up, and make sure it's firmly seated 
under the front of the stock. At this point, make sure you have your, cross, your crossbow riser bolt, your lock washer, and you can begin assembling the riser. Again, you want to make sure it's firmly seated and snug, but don't over tighten. At this point, I'm ready to install the optics. Also, in this section when we're talking about the step-through risers, we also want to discuss a few of the models that come with adjustable rear stocks. They're adjustable two ways, both the comb of the stock and the length of pull. So to adjust the comb, you'll see you'll need a slotted screwdriver to unscrew both sides of the stock, which will allow it to go up and down and come free. It's also adjustable for length of pull. And to adjust that, you want to loosen the two hex heads located at the back of the stock, one the top, one the bottom, with a supplied X wrench. And then, simply just spin the dial, which will start drawing out the back of the stock to adjust the length either in or out, depending on the size of the shooter. After we have the back of our stock in position, we want to lock the hex screws back in place with a supplied wrench. And now your bow should be more comfortable for you to shoot.